Hey, what's going on YouTube? ET Tech 231 here. Welcome back to another episode of Best Android Apps. As always, the application links will be listed down below in the description, so make sure you check them out. Other than that, sit back, relax, pull out your phone, and get ready to download some apps. All right, so the first app on hand is this all-in-one toolbox. This app makes keeping your device clean nice and simple. You've got things like a one-tap junk cleaner, which scans for all of these unnecessary, useless empty folders, application cache, and all that stuff. You've got a speed booster that'll stop unnecessary system tasks that are running in the background, and you've got a one-touch CPU cooler, which will do its best to cool the CPU down by closing certain device processes. Other features include app to sd which lets you move applications from your device's internal storage over to your external storage if your device has that. You've got a built-in file manager, which is super handy so you don't have to go and download a separate app, and if you're rooted, you can use this app to uninstall system bloatware. There are also a bunch of plugins that you can grab from the Play Store, like a QR and bar code scanner, an application lock feature, an ad detector, and more. This is a great all-in-one tool to use to keep your device running at 100%. Definitely give this one a shot. Next up, we have the latest version of Action Launcher 3. As you probably already know, this is one of the best and most popular launchers on the Google Play Store. This was a last-minute addition to this episode because of its most recent update. This update brought in some features that we'll most likely see on this year's Nexus or Pixel devices. Things like swiping up on the dock to reveal your app drawer, the updated Android and folder style, the new Google Search pill widget as they call it, and you've got the date widget as well. So with this update, we've got a bunch of new features that'll help you make your device look like the new Pixel launcher. You're going to want to try this one out. Third application is Smash Rocket. It's a pretty simplistic game, and the objective here is to launch these rockets as they revolve around the Earth to hit these moving targets. Now as you progress, there will be times when the rockets will rotate as they revolve, making it harder to aim. Aim properly, and you're good to go. Aim just slightly off, and it's game over. So a simple concept, but as you get further in the game, it's sure to test your aim and timing skills. The graphics look great, the game plays smoothly, and overall, this is a solid choice to add to your games folder. Next application is Rider Keyboard. Now get this. This was made to mimic the look of an old-fashioned mechanical keyboard from the 80s, getting inspiration from IBM's model and keyboard. It even has LED indicators for numlock, power, and caps lock. Genius. Now the main selling point of this keyboard is this. Check it out. Gotta try this one out. Halfway down the list is an app for you Pokemon fans out there. It's essentially a Pokédex app for you enthusiasts and for the few of you still playing Pokemon Go. You've got a decent amount of features here. You do get basic information about the Pokemon, like their type, their height, weight, attacks, and other stats. And as of now, we're only looking at the first generation of Pokemon, so before you go and rate this application on the Play Store, do take note that the app was made by two guys. The app is still in beta, and they're still working hard to bring you more Pokemon generations, more information, and stuff like that. So for now, go ahead and cut them some slack. The app itself is very well made, and has got a real nice and clean user interface. Give it a shot. Next up, we have Walray. Yet another super solid wallpaper app with well over 10,000 high-res pictures that the developer stated are free to share and use as you wish, which is very awesome. The app has a really sleek user interface with its refreshing photo grid display. It's got explore and featured options, as well as a huge amount of photo collections and categories. New picks are added to the app on the daily, and I think it's safe to say that this app made it into the official Easy Tech 231 wallpaper app Hall of Fame. Yes, that's a thing now. Alright, so next we have the AP15 launcher. The concept here is more than simple. No folders, no app drawer, no widgets, no icons. Just all of your applications on one screen displayed in text form. I actually really like the idea here as the launcher displays your most open apps by making the titles bigger than the rest. There are a nice amount of tweaks here like the ability to change the font, the color, and the size of the text. You can hide applications if you'd like, and you can in fact change the wallpaper. That's pretty much it. A very basic, straightforward launcher, yet a smart one at the same time, making it one that I highly recommend you guys try out. Nearing the end of the list, we have Hyperburner. Now this one here is legit. It's
It's a high-speed progressive level-based game set in space, and what you have to do is guide this little ship through these pretty tight obstacles, and as you progress, you can unlock new and better ships. The game is very well made with amazing graphics, it plays beautifully, and even the menus operate incredibly well. They look so sick. Now, this is a fairly graphically intense game, as it is recommended to run this game on a newer device with a minimum of 2GB of RAM. Nonetheless, I highly recommend you guys try this one out, as it's a game that I look to keep around long term. Second to last, we have Mei Mei Keyboard. Is it Mei Mei or Mai Mai? Whatever. This app is as simple as it gets. It'll add just a little spice to your message conversations, social media posts, or comments with these little emoticons that you can't normally make on your your keyboard. Honestly, that's about it. Enjoy, guys. All right, so last application on the list is Vern, or Vern, if you want to get French with it. This is a really neat app that allows you to explore the 3D imagery of the Himalayas via Google Maps as a 500-foot Yeti named Vern, or Vern. You've got this little virtual joystick used to move around, and you have a separate button used to jump and pick up certain objects strewn all over the place. The more you explore, the more you'll come across, like a jetpack, a, a hang glider, and you can even chase yaks. Yeah, there's a whole lot to do here. It's a pretty fun experience that I'm sure will keep you and your kids occupied for a good amount of time. That is, of course, if you have any kids. I, in this case, do not, and it still kept me occupied for a good amount of time. It's a great little time waster. You're definitely going to want to give this app a shot. Well, that about does it for this month's best Android apps. I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, links to these apps are down below in the description.